Over these past three weeks especially, we've covered many aspects of developmental nutrition, pregnancy, prenatal, everything you need to understand to have perfectly developed children. Now, not everyone has been able to follow a perfect diet for two years pre-contraception or breastfeed their children for three years. I mean, that's probably 0.01% or some crazy small amount of the population. So today, we'll touch on foods that are most important for physical development outside of those stages. And by that, I mean, you know, from two or three years of age up to 21, even early to mid 20s. One overlying factor that I can't ignore is the role of dairy in the more physically impressive groups of people, especially the Dutch, you know, those Scandinavian areas. The height and skeletal development from dairy even when compared to other physically impressive groups of people, tribes, indigenous people, seems to be consistent. Simple reason being that dairy is a reliable nutritional source from nature, whereas procuring meat requires more caloric expenditure, animal husbandry not always allowing consistent slaughtering of animals. This list today isn't based off the most perfect ideal food. It's more of a realistic scenario based on accessibility, average quality, and the likelihood a child would eat the food. You know, otherwise, we'd be giving our kids venison tartare with caviar, and you know, some kids might like that if they were introduced it at an early age. Again, the very small minority. Number one is milk. And I don't know a child that doesn't enjoy a tall glass of chocolate milk or some milk and cookies. Maybe uh, one of those demonic brainwashed vegan children with horrible parents, but uh, we, we only see those in the media. And I'm sure everyone has some gigantic friend who, when asked what he ate as a kid, simply answered a lot of milk. You know, of course you wanna go grass fed, ideally raw, high quality with everything. You know, quality really being the main theme I push with any diet, along with a high animal food presence. Conventional store-bought milk, especially whole milk, it's way better than the soy or almond milk kids are sucking down now, but it pales in comparison to the good stuff. Not only are you missing out on a substantially higher vitamin content in grass-fed milk, more beneficial fatty acids, these kids are consuming so many chemicals, most of them estrogenic, which wreaks havoc on their hormones to create our new generation of soy boys. You know, that being said, the high protein content of milk and its incredible bioavailability due to being a liquid still keeps it at the top, you know, whether conventional or raw grass fed. Number two, we have eggs. Although I don't really want to even put eggs on this list, in reality, you aren't going to get a child to eat animal brains or caviar unless they're introduced as a toddler from an early age. Even so, a lot of people can't access brains and our oceans are so heavily polluted, you know, making eggs the only reasonable source of omega fatty acids. The problem is the high omega-6 content, unbalanced omega fatty acid ratios, even in organic pasture raised, makes them a questionable source of nutrition for children. Eggs are definitely a better brain building food compared to dairy. They're super high in cholesterol, omega-3s, plenty of vitamin K2, even small amounts of vitamin D, much more balanced from an overall nutritional perspective. You know, minerals that are typically low in meat, such as copper. If I had kids, I would definitely be raising some backyard chickens, feeding them a high quality diet to ensure that I had a safe source of omega fatty acids for my children. You know, one of the main goals in the near future of Frankie's free range meat is to get a dairy and chicken operation to help provide you guys with these types of foods. Number three, we have cheese, mainly for its vitamin K2 content. Cheese is very similar to milk from a macronutrient perspective, rich in protein, fats, slightly less carbohydrates, but overall, so concentrated in nutrition, so many vitamins and minerals, everything a developing child needs. I would say you could rank it even higher than milk, and most kids do enjoy the taste of cheese. It's just because it's you know dried out, it's so concentrated, it's not 
as easy to, to gulp down so much of it or, or consume a ton of it. Vitamin K2, specifically in the form MK4, which is only found in animal foods, is vital for skeletal development, being part of the transport system for calcium and minerals into bones. Since K2 is synthesized by a healthy gut microbiome and also high in fermented foods like cheese, you know, two things which aren't really present in our modern lifestyle, it's no wonder why a lot of kids, you know, end up tall and skinny with faces that don't match. You know, those fat soluble vitamins, mainly K2 and D3, ensure your bone, your skeletal structure is wide, you know, broad, you know, what humans are supposed to be. But if you just suck down a lot of protein without enough minerals, yeah, you'll grow tall and skinny, but you know, things won't be in proportion. You know, vitamin D being really more important than all of these things, but we'll touch on that a little bit later. Number four is meat, mainly for iron and specific minerals that aren't as high in dairy products and eggs. I would say ideally at least once per day, four to five times per week is still great. And it can be hard to get kids to eat meat sometimes unless they were eating it from an early age. So more approachable preparations like sausage, deli meat, you know, sneaking it in certain dishes might be helpful. The problem is most of those charcuterie deli products are very low quality. Maybe some organic hot dogs are passable now, you know, but unless you're stuffing sausages in your kitchen and have prosciutto hanging in your garage, it's difficult to be confident in feeding many of these supermarket products to your children, regardless of organic or not. Now I'm putting chocolate at number five because I think it's the most reliable source of magnesium that children are going to consume consistently. And we need so, so much magnesium. You know, it's one of the few things that I think everyone should be supplementing. Chocolate actually has minerals that are antagonistic to animal products. So it's like a perfect combination. You get ample animal-based minerals from meat, dairy, eggs, and then if you have chocolate frequently, it's very concentrated in the magnesium, the copper, the phosphorus, the minerals that are low in those animal products. Yeah, if you're giving your kids high-quality chocolate milk, grilled cheese, eggs, you know, all of which I have recipes for on my channel, they're probably going to be six foot tall supermodels. The vitamin D factor I mentioned is without a doubt more important than any food you could feed your child. So, you know, if you can get your kids outside playing in the sun, shirtless, in swimsuits as much as possible, even supplementing them with vitamin D3, you know, I would say that's a priority before making the diet picture perfect. I think, you know, children being vitamin D deficient is causing shorter statures, improper skeletal development, lower IQ. I mean, of course, there's so many problems with our modern diet and lifestyle, but if you think about it, you know, in our past, kids were always outside with their parents playing in the sun all day. And, you know, by the time you get to even, you know, three, four, five, six years old, the child is already heavily vitamin D deficient. So thank you guys for joining me today. And that got me thinking maybe I'll do a video next week on how to properly dose supplements for your children. Although I don't really like giving that type of information away for multiple reasons. I'll think about it. If you could please drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. Check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, please sign up for the newsletter at frank defanocom where you can also check out all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow.